This is a typical silver bracelet that has a hinge in the middle of the back with a spring in it. The spring is broken and no longer holds the bracelet on the customer's wrist. We're going to replace the spring using wire from an electric guitar string. The strings from guitars make excellent spring wire. To make this repair, first use a ball burr to grind off the head of the rivet that holds the hinge together. Grind off the head of the rivet and also make a little rounded divot down into the bracelet. This will allow the new rivet head to actually form down into the bracelet creating a rivet head flush with the bracelet. Next use a small steel punch made from a broken burr shank that is ground to a point to push out the old pin. Then pull it out the rest of the way with pliers and then use the ball burr to make the little divot in the other side of the bracelet. Take the hinge apart to reveal the old spring. It's rusted from moisture getting in the bracelet and that's what caused it to break. We need to take the old spring out and keep it. It will be our pattern for making the new spring. Take a piece of the heavy guitar wire and begin to bend it in a coil using a round nose, flat nose pliers. Do not use round nose pliers because it will put a nick in the wire and that will weaken the spring. Use the round nose to bend around and the flat nose on the outside will keep the wire smooth. It takes quite a bit to bend this. Just keep coiling the spring around. These coils are what causes the spring action. Continue wrapping it around to get two or three windings around the center. Measure it to the old spring to make sure the angles are correct and then start to make the other bends. Use a heavy duty wire cutter that can cut spring wire and trim the spring off to length. Using the old spring as a guide, adjust the shape of the wire. Continue to shape both sides to make the spring match the old one. Now we're ready to make the rivet wire. Take a piece of sterling silver wire the same diameter as the hole in the bracelet and using a torch ball up one end of the wire to form the rivet head. Whenever you ball the end of a wire, always hold the wire so that you melt the bottom end and let the melted metal pull up on the wire to form the ball. Using a little steel block with holes in it, slide the wire through and hammer the ball down to form a flat rivet head. Next, take the bracelet and assemble it, placing the spring into one side. Then place the other side onto the spring, making sure the coil of the spring lines up right in the center of the hinge so the rivet wire not only goes through the holes of the bracelet, but also through the coil of the spring. Now that it is assembled, check the spring tension before making the rivet on the other side of the bracelet. Trim the rivet wire to length. Then place it on our steel anvil and hammer the wire out forming a head on the second side. Test the bracelet again to make sure the spring works and then clean up the bracelet. Use a rubber wheel on the flex shaft to remove any hammer marks left on the rivet heads. Then use a hard felt wheel to polish over the area that we worked on. Then polish the bracelet on the buffing machine and clean it in the ultrasonic. After I take this bracelet out of the ultrasonic, I like to shake as much water out of the bracelet as I can and then I lay it on top of the steam cleaner to let the heat from the steamer dry out any moisture that's inside the bracelet so that the new spring wire will not begin to rust. And the bracelet is ready to be delivered to your customer.